everyone, this is Ben, and thank you for joining us on this episode of the Semper Gumby channel. Well, we are back in Tennessee because we are just, uh, we just completed our two month journey across the US, and I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. But now with the season almost starting in the fall, um, it's gonna be some great camping. And I've got two more expos to attend, well, actually three more expos to attend. We are getting ready for the Overland Expo Mountain West in Loveland, Colorado. And this year, Semper Gumby Channel is proud to announce that we have teamed up with Lee Time. And Lee Time makes some great outdoor batteries for fishing, trolling, home, uh, off-grid use, as well as uh, for overlanding in your rigs. Uh, and their lithium batteries go as small from a mini all the way up to a 400, even 400 amp hours for your RV. These right here are the new Lee Time Slim Edition LiPo 4 Lithium Iron Phosphate batteries. Now these are 12.8 volts and 100 amp hours and I have two of them here. And they are so slim that they don't take up any space at all. Now the height of the battery is only 11 inches, 11.02 inches in height. Uh, the length of the battery is only 20.87 inches and the thickness of the battery is only 2.36 so it's pretty thin okay so i am installing this bracket to attaching it to the floor so the weight of this batteries are 36 pounds so most of the weight is going to be on the floor so we don't have to worry about it ripping off from the wall so we have to drill six holes three on each side and then we're going to use one inch uh, screws here and uh, attach it. Okay, we got the brackets all mounted into the floor. We got three uh, one inch screws on each side and then we got the spacer, rubber spacer uh, with the screw going in to hold it from coming forward or back and it's pretty it's pretty sturdy all right we got one more to install and uh, we should be good to go So I've got the batteries mounted in here. Uh, they're at an angle. Um, they look really good. They're really sturdy and they're not going nowhere. So right now I'm mounting the MPPT or the solar power controller right in the middle of it. And uh, the inverter will go in the back. And there it is. That will be the lead time install. So uh, we just got to do a couple more holes and uh, we're good to go. Now, when I got with Lee Time, we talked about building up this off-grid camper with these batteries, and they were all on board with it. Now, these batteries can also be used in your RV, um, an off-grid cabin, and what you see behind me is my new off-grid cabin, and we are uh, in talks right now, and we're thinking about outfitting the off-grid cabin with all Lee Time power. And I'm gonna go, you know, off the grid, no, uh, no uh, grid power coming in, now we mounted these batteries the other day and as you can see they're at an angle and that's the way you want to mount it. You want to mount it straight up or flat on the ground. And because of this composite wall, this is not wood, uh, I had to come up with an option of how to mount these batteries. 
So after doing some research and talking with a lot of friends, a lot of uh, uh, guys that fabricate stuff. So these right here are made for car amplifiers. And they, uh, they I've got them on Amazon and they actually work perfect for my application. If you look, I've got it bolted down or screwed down into the floor. And this does have a little bit of angle here as well as angle on the top. So it's leaning flush against the bulkhead. Now most of the weights on the bottom on here and they do, uh, lead time includes these little brackets where you can uh, add on just like on this one right here. You can add them on uh, either on the top, bottom or sides. And this is how I mounted it with the uh, amplifier racks. Now the amplifier racks uh, for vehicles uh, are, are shaped almost in the same way of these batteries. So I figure I'd give it a try and it worked out great. Now to charge these batteries, there are several ways. You can use one, you can use solar uh, panels along with the MPPT solar controller. Uh, and this regulates the power coming into the batteries. It's recommended that uh, um, you use 400 watt solar panels and it takes about 4.5 hours a day to uh, charge. Uh, another way you can charge it with a battery charger. You can use a 20 amp or a 50 amp, but uh, a 20 amp will take about five hours to charge and a uh, 50 amp will take about two hours to charge. So make sure you get the 14.6 uh, volt uh, battery charger to maximize your capacity. And then lastly, you can use an alternator or a generator. If you use an alternator, be sure you uh, use a DC to DC charger uh, a generator, uh, you can plug in the battery charger right into there and then charge the batteries. Now compared to Group 31 batteries, the lead time 12 volt, 100 amp hour slim uh, LiFo battery is 50% lighter than lead acid that saves you 36% more space than the standard lithium model. Now the ultra slim is only 2.36 like I mentioned before. The profile allows for more flexible and efficient installations for tight compartments and areas like for your vans, RVs, or boats. Now many of you are asking, what is the weight of these batteries? Now these things are fairly light. It's only 32.89, so right under 33 pounds per battery. Now the cells in here are EV grade cells for maximum performance and longevity. Built with automotive grade LiPo4 cells, this battery delivers 500 amp peak and 100 amp continuous power. Uh, that's pretty pretty amazing for something that slim. The warranty on these batteries are five years. The warranty on it is five years. Man, that's pretty pretty amazing for a lithium battery. It's 4,000 cycles at 100% DOD, 6,000 cycles at 80% DOD, and 15,000 cycles at 60% DOD. Now, when I say DOD is how much you discharge and charge the battery. So if you come down 100% uh, to zero on the battery, use all 100% of this battery, you have 4,000 cycles. 80%, um, you have 6,000 cycles. And then at 60%, you have 15,000 cycles. Now I have to move into the uh, off-grid cabin because it got pretty hot outside. It's almost 100 degrees. But uh, once the batteries and the MPPT controller is set up, we will be mounting the lead time 3,000 watt inverter. Now this has four, right there, 110 plugs. And uh, this thing has a pure sign inverter, 60 Hertz, 110, 120 volts, 12 volt DC inverter. So I'll be able to plug in all my AC or anything that requires uh, uh, 110 into this right here. Now it does have some massive cooling fans on the back uh, to dissipate the heat. But also you'll see this mounted in the tiny camper uh, here in the next couple days. So at the time of this video, lead time is doing a, a 72 hour sale. It's a lead time day and it's a flash sale and there are some incredible prices on their website. If you go to leadtime.com, you can check it all out. It's a 30 day price guarantee and seven day free returns. So there's only three days, four hours and 10 minutes by the time this video comes out. So if you want one of these, go check them out or you can see them in person. I will be at the Overland Expo uh, Mountain West in Loveland, Colorado on the 21st and 22nd uh, at the fairgrounds. So I'll post a link in the description of the batteries, the lead time, the sale, and the event that's coming up. 
you got any questions, go ahead and pop them in the box below. But until then, it's time to finish up powering up this tiny